Ordering these at-home COVID test kits from the federal government is a super simple process. It took me less than a minute, and you can literally have it done by the time I'm done with this story. So right now, take out your phone or your laptop. This is what you have to do. First, go to covidtest.gov. Right at the top of the page, you'll see a blue button that says order free at home tests. Click that and you'll be directed to this U.S. Postal Service order form. On there, you'll enter your name and your mailing address and then click check out now. And that's it. You're done. People like Wendy Marie Chabot wasting no time getting those orders in. To be honest, my husband is chronically ill and it's very important I keep him safe and my coworkers safe. And it was crazy. I have had a hard time finding tests. I did go into a Walgreens. They did have a whole bunch of them, but they're so expensive. There is a limit of one order per residential address. That order includes four individual rapid antigen tests. And the White House says orders will usually ship in 7 to 12 days. You should be judicious in the utilization of some of the testing, uh, of some of the home tests. Um, I think four is actually probably a good number. Maybe could be a little bit more. But I mean, having four is still way better than zero. And even with Connecticut's positivity rate declining, Dr. Ulysses Wu with Hartford Healthcare says at-home test distribution programs will play an important role moving forward. If COVID becomes something that's endemic and it's not pandemic, it becomes something part of our daily life where maybe people aren't as ill, people aren't going to the hospitals, things like this are going to be actually a lot more important because you can integrate it very easily into your daily life. Now, there were some reports yesterday of orders from people in multi-unit buildings being wrongly rejected because of a feature that is supposed to stop duplicate orders from the same household. Now, in those cases, USPS says all you have to do is go to their website and fill out a service inquiry form. And we have more information about how to do that on fox61.com. Reporting in West Hartford, Angelo Bavaro, Fox 61 News.